Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Today we're big walling in Yosemite and Himalayan mountaineering on the summit of Mount Everest. We've just heard news that Britain's most understated climber, James McAfee, has made a free ascent of the Salathe Wall on El Capitan. He and his climbing partner, Dan McManus, climbed the route in big wall, ground up style, which means that once they set off, they didn't come down until the route was done. Dan came close to freeing the wall too and was only stopped by a single pitch on the final headwall. The route is 2,900 feet long, has 35 pitches, climbing up to 8A+, and is one of the best lines in Yosemite. US climbing legend Royal Robbins described it as the greatest rock climb in the world. James had previously free climbed El Capitan by making an ascent of the Premier Wall with Hazel Finley and Neil Dyer putting him in a pretty small group of climbers who have freed two routes on America's most famous cliff. He's also climbed two 9A sport routes and is arguably one of the best and most prolific track climbers in the world. After telling you last week that multiple teams were poised to summit Mount Everest from the north side, we're pleased to report that several groups have made it to the top. Bill Burke was the oldest summiteer, aged 72, whilst 13-year-old Porna Malavath of India became the youngest female in history to reach the summit. Even more interesting than this was the fact that 41-year-old Chinese climber Jin Wang summited with no less than five Sherpas helping her and having been helicoptered to Camp 2 rather than climbing up from base camp. Wang is attempting to climb the highest peak on every continent and reach both poles in record time and clearly didn't mind stretching the unspoken rules of mountaineering to achieve her goal. Her logistics company were not willing to support her continuing with the expedition after the avalanche which killed 17 Sherpas earlier in the season and even the helicopter pilot who flew her, Italian mountain guide Maurizio Fellini, has stated that he was ethically opposed to what she was doing. What do you reckon? Let us know what you think by commenting on our Facebook page. That's it from us today and we'll see you tomorrow. Well underway in Alaska and two impressive new routes have been done in the Denali range. One